Hello, this is Mike from computer-advisor.com. Today I'm going to show you a couple of quick ways to repair any wireless network connectivity issues that you may have. The first thing you need to do is right click on your wireless network or just your normal network icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen and then just go to troubleshoot problems. This will go through and it will repair most of the problems but on the other hand not all of them. Once this is done if it still doesn't repair the issue, if you go to right click on the icon again, go to open network and sharing center, and then go down to manage wireless networks, and then in there you'll see any wireless networks that you're previously connected to. Now what can happen here is connections can become corrupted and settings can change and it can cause a whole range of problems. So it's worth going in, remove the network, closing the window down and then go down to your wireless network icon again and then go to select your wireless network click on connect and then enter your wireless network key so in fact all that's doing is it, it just deletes the network all of the settings for that um, and it can be very useful when repairing wireless networks very quickly the only thing is you need to remember that you need to have the wireless security key um, because you'll need to enter it again as it will be lost. If that still doesn't repair the issue or fix the problem, the next thing is to actually reinstall the wireless network card. Again, very, very straightforward. If you just go to right click on computer, then go down to properties, and then go to device manager. In the list, look for your wireless network adapter. In this case, it's this Intel Centrino Jobby. So if I right click on that, Go to uninstall, ignore what it says there about delete the driver, you don't want to do that, click on OK. And then right click on the top here which is the name of your PC and then do scan for hardware changes. We give it a second. Okay, so that's now gone and reinstalled the driver for us. So as you can see there, so again close down that window and then we just go to click on here again and then go to connect to the wireless network that's it and if we put you put in your wireless code there we go and I'm all connected again see again very very straightforward um, I'll put together a few more articles on um, on other problems such as how to diagnose if the problem is actually your wireless card or the router, um, please you know check out some of our other articles.